Hey songwriters, on this video we're talking to Michael Walker with Soul Lab Music. He's a music producer that's based here in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and I thought you would be inspired by his story because he has a lot of musical history and he recently started Soul Lab Music as a way to expand what he's doing for putting out creativity into the world. So this is going to be a great conversation. Let's meet Michael. Welcome to the channel. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I know that recently you started Soul Lab Music, which is I've got your your merch on here, which yeah. I thought I saw it online and I was like, ooh, I like the red one. So I had to order it. So Oh man, thanks. Thanks for your support. Yeah. So tell me about Soul Lab. I know that, you know, recently you kind of started really pushing it a little bit harder and, and how did you get into music? What led you to today? Uh starting off, man, when I was younger, uh I took piano lessons. I, I come from a musical family. My mother and my father both played uh, piano and my father played organ. So I have four brothers and everybody plays. Awesome. Yeah. So were you guys playing together as a family or what did that look like when you were growing up? Uh, we played sometimes as a family, uh, grew up in, in the church. Uh, Mount Olivet Baptist Church here in St. Paul, Minnesota. Uh, awesome. My dad was the uh, minister of music, and he was the uh, catalyst at, at bringing gospel music to the Twin Cities back in 1959. So uh, that's what generated everybody getting a love for music. So obviously it sounds like you play keys, right? You said you play yeah. piano and do you play any other instruments? Uh, I'm learning to play bass. I can play drums a little bit. But, okay. Uh, it's mostly keys and, and a little bit of bass guitar. So tell me about Soul Lab then. What What is Soul Lab music? Soul Lab music, it, it, it's funny how it kind of got started, man, because um, I started off just making beats from uh, my iPad. And then uh, I had a part-time job and I started slowly buying equipment. And uh, I bought the equipment and got it all together downstairs. And when Mercedes used to be, what are you doing? I'm going down to the lab to make some music. And I felt that it was soulful down there. So I added Soul Lab to it. and. When I went to register it, uh, there was quite a few Soul Labs. So I went with Soul Lab Music LLC. Uh, I consulted with Mercedes, my better half on it. And uh, <laughs> we, we made it to come to fruition. Awesome. So are you producing for other artists or what does what does your, your setup or process look like right now? I have done some uh, tracks for other artists. Uh, I've done some tracks for this guy named uh, ATR. He's in the in the industry and out there on YouTube and, and Spotify and all that stuff. Uh, I've done other tracks for other people, but I'm doing a lot for myself and uh, just looking to kind of generate a buzz for commercials and stuff of that nature. Uh, TV, and I, I'm just not focused on uh, dealing with artists. Sure. So when you say you're doing music for yourself, are you an artist as well? Or what does that look like for you? Uh, what I've been doing, Chad, is I put uh, about five singles out on Spotify and Apple Music. And I just released uh, uh, a EP, a 10 song EP called Mike's Trimentals on uh, Spotify and Apple too. Cool. So, yeah, it just got released on New Year's Eve. Awesome. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, check it out, man. It, it's all instrumentals, and uh, that's what that's what I enjoy doing. What? How would you describe besides being instrumental? How would you describe your style? My style is hip hopish, funk, uh, with a touch of jazz. Nice. Who are your influences? Uh. First, my first influences are my parents and then my brothers, man. Uh, what happened, Chad, was growing up, I was playing piano and I got to about eight or nine years old. And my dad sent me to a teacher I really didn't vibe with. 
So I quit and just started playing ball. And uh, when I got to be 27, I just decided, man, I want to play again. So I started taking lessons. And uh, actually, it was my younger brother, Marcus, who was a really big influence on me as far as getting back into the Keys and uh, just watching all my brothers. Because I have a brother who he is the musical director for Lettucey. Uh, R&B artist, let us see. So amongst doing other jazz stuff, he's pretty much on the level of Herbie Hancock and Bobby Lyle, those type guys. Wow. Well, that's yeah. that's good to have that sort of people close to you, right? That's, that's oh, yeah. good to learn through osmosis. Oh, man, very beneficial. Very beneficial. You know, as you think about Soul Lab, it sounds like you're looking to do like sync licensing with like music or with film, TV, all of those things. Yeah. Um, you know, if when you're writing your songs or when you're creating your music, what does that process look like for you? I know you said it's instrumental. So, you know, sometimes songwriters, they might write words first, but obviously you don't have words. So what? how does it start for you? Man, it's interesting, Chad. Well, when I'm in the shower or if I'm near water, uh, grooves come to my head. And I'll start humming them or I'll sing them and I'll make a beat off my chest. And then uh, I'll just run downstairs and, and, and start putting it down. What uh, are you using um, like a computer to record all of your stuff or do you have other equipment or what does your setup look like? Uh, my setup is a, a, I have a, a iMac, the new iMac, 27 uh, inch screen. I have a, a I'm using a, a, Pro Logic, Logic Pro, yep. Logic Pro X, along with a, I have an MPC, uh, keyboards, bass guitar. Oh, yeah. And I, I use the talk box also. Awesome. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. So obviously you went away from music for a while, came back to it. You know, what was that evolution like for you once once you did come back and say, hey, I want to get into this? Was that a natural progression or or how did it go for you uh it was natural but um being i had my younger brother with me uh because we we had released a, a cd back in the early 2000 called uh uh hoops in the hood uh underneath his entertainment company which was called pioneer entertainment so uh that was the springboard of me getting back with the with the music and, and learning how to produce and stuff absolutely yeah so since a lot of people who watch this channel are people who are newer to music and maybe just getting started do you have any advice for for someone like that my advice would be probably learn your get some equipment and learn how to use it and uh do your own thing because you know, having to go to other studios when, you know, you have to pay and uh, learn the people and get in on their schedule. I would say buy your own stuff and learn how to work it yourself. Have you worked with any artists? I mean, obviously you're making tracks and things. Are you at the point where you're producing, you know, vocalists or anything at this point? Uh, I've done some tracks for uh, a guy named Jay Avion uh, and along with uh, Aaron Roberts, who's ATR. Uh, and I have sold some beats online to some guys way over in uh, New Zealand and, <laughs> and uh, uh, China, matter of fact. And so being able to uh, tap into this Internet, man, it, it's a whole different realm and arena to to get your stuff out there versus back when uh, my brother and myself was doing it back in early 2000, man, you know, you didn't really have that outlet. It was, you know, trying to get with labels and stuff like that. But now with this internet, man, it's a whole new ball game. Absolutely. It's, it's interesting. <laughs> yeah, well, I know that there are you know, I, I interviewed another artist on the channel. Her name is P uh, Per Music. She's based out of um, the Chicago area, Chicago and Indiana. And uh -huh. I, she's an artist where she buys beats from producers like yourself, and then she records the vocals 
you know, on her own. So there's definitely a market out there of of artists that need producers. So I think you're on to something yeah. with Soul Lab because you're right. There's such a like the net has widened, right? Like back in the day, you only had your town or whoever you were close to. And now, you know, like you said, you're selling beats to New Zealand and China. Like back in the day, you would have never thought that that would be happening, right? So yeah, man, it's crazy. <laughs> Yeah. What are some of the, you know, music is kind of always evolving and things too. I know we talked about your influences. Do you have any current artists that you really kind of look up to or, or producers or what is that like for you? Uh, I, I, I love Dr. Dre. Uh, I, I uh, took some, took some tools of his and implemented into my own style. Uh, I'm a big fan of pretty much a lot of genres of music. Uh, Slump Village. Uh, I love jazz also. You know, uh, I'm always, always been a, a Herbie Hancock, uh, Bobby Lyle, and now my brother, Tony Walker, uh, just fantastic pianist, man, that, that can do it all. So it, it's very impressive for me. Awesome. So are you from the Twin Cities area? Is this where you grew up? Yeah, I, I, I was born in St. Paul. Uh, grew up here pretty much. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, the music scene's been vibrant here for quite a long time. Yeah, it has, man. Um, it, it's funny because back when Prince was playing before he got his deal and he had a band called Grand, Grand Central Station. And my brother's band used to kind of battle them uh, <laughs> back in the day, man. I think I was probably like eight years old. So, but I witnessed some of that stuff, man. And it, it was it was fantastic to see those guys. They were probably in their teens to be playing like that. So that was a big influence on. Me. Yeah. Well, for me, for me personally, um, Prince has always been a big influence for me, and also Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. So kind of that. Yeah that Minneapolis sound has yeah. really been an influence on me as well. Yeah, man. Uh, it, it's an impressive sound and it's distinct. Uh, I had put some stuff. I'm in a, on a Facebook group called the MPC, a Kai MPC group. And I threw a couple grooves out there along with a video I did. And they loved it, man. They was like, oh, man, that's some great music coming out of the Twin Cities. And that that's who they named off, the Prince, Tim, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. I'm like, man, you like my stuff and, you know, you put me in a in a same situation or even mentioning my name with those guys. I was like yeah. kind of blown away. Yeah, definitely. Well, so I know you mentioned that your music is out now. Can people get it? You said it's on Spotify. Is it on other streaming sites and stuff as well? Yep, it's on Spotify and Apple uh, under Mike T. Awesome. And then Soul Lab Music, do you have a website? Yeah, we do have a website. Uh, it is uh, soullabmusicllc.com. Perfect. And you can get merch like this. <laughs> you can get your merch, you can get beats. You can see what we're doing. Uh, it's a nice site. My my wife designed it, matter of fact. So awesome. Kudos to Mercedes. Well, Michael, it's been great having you on uh, the channel. So I appreciate, you know, you taking a little bit of time and, and joining us here um, at At Home Songwriting. Oh, man, I appreciate the opportunity, Chad, man. Anything you need, hit me up. All right. Thanks so much, Michael. Okay, take care.